Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video I'll show you how to load your dropdown Form Titan um, with a pick list that has record type restrictions on it. So we all know that once you have record types on your object, then you can select which values in your pick list in Salesforce will show in each record type. Let me show you how we can get this done. So we're going to add a dropdown and we're going to get rid of everything in it. And we're going to say, we're going to call it SLA. And we're going to do sync from Salesforce. Select our account. And we'll select the SLA. We'll apply this. And let me show you my, um, my Salesforce. So this is, I have two record types. So RT and RT2. And if I'll head over to the SLA here, then I see that only gold and silver um, are available in RT2. And in RT, I have all the options available. So we're going to head back to our, um, to our form Titan form. I'm going to head to our Salesforce integration and set get. And you will notice this is the get that form Titan created automatically that we have an option here with record type. So if we select record type filtering, then you can do a few things. Or you can select from a hidden. So I already mapped my hiddens here with my record type IDs. Or you can click other and hard code your record type ID in there. So I'm going to select RT2. And I'll publish the form. And you can already tell that I have the gold and silver options only. And if I'll head back to my get and change it to RT and apply to refresh my form, I have all options available. And this thing will work just as well with a dependent pick list. So if I will throw in our a controller, so this will be industry. Um, and the industry is my controlling field for the SLA. I don't know, I don't remember the, let's take a look at our SLA and see the controlling field. So, find our industry so we have here um, all the options so if I'll set this one up get rid of everything here and sync it from Salesforce that will be my industry and we'll apply and we will set my I'll set my pick list to be dependent and I'll select my industry it will work just the same way you can go head back to your Salesforce integration into the get and set your record type to bring just the RT so it will work just for the values that belong to that record type and this is how it's done. 